for the final step, I just need to buff and seal after it's been grouted. Okay, so this, the this buffing, is there a particular type of cloth that's used? It's a, a green oh, yeah. scotch brick pad. Yes. Uh, without any kind of uh, uh, the soaps or anything in it. Okay. Um, and it's dry? It is dry. And you just kind of give it a light hand buff, circular motions to get rid of any kind of grub haze. Okay. That may be left. You're doing um, a lighter colored tile like Halva. Okay. Um, using the green pad is not such a good idea. Why is that? It tends to leave a bit of a green kind of residue. Oh, okay. What do you so, recommend for the Halva? There's other pads that have different colors. Yes. And how, okay. Yeah, how these things operate is every color sort of represents a grit. Okay. So there's the next, the next grid down. Okay. It's a different color. I think it's gray. Although right. I'm not sure. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Or you can also use like a really fine sanding sponge. Okay. Like something that's like 600 grit. 600 grit. Okay. After sanding, wipe off any residue with a dry clean cloth. Once fully cleaned, apply a penetrating sealer on all tiles and the surround. Details about the type of sealer are on the website and in the installation guide. Apply the sealer one tile at a time and in a circular motion to avoid streaking. There you go. There you go.